Alright. Uh, you know, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. I was kind of just like sitting in class today. And I was like, dude. I, I really haven't like done. I haven't really like actually played a video game in, in a while. Like, okay, so the Madden franchises that we do, we don't actually play the games. It's been what I. It's basically been what I've been doing for like the past month. I played. Uh, I played a. Co- I played a bunch of games of Overwatch like last week. But I don't really count that because I only played it because I wanted to do my placements. I didn't play it for fun. Like, I haven't actually sat down and played a video game for fun. So, you want to know what I did yesterday? I re-downloaded 2K20. Now, I'm probably going to end up doing a franchise in there, too. So, I probably won't end up even playing it. But still, it's gotten to the point where I'm literally about to re-download the game that I was literally bashing in the last time I was in here. But, like, there's not more, there's not much better I can do. I mean, actually, to be fair, I've been playing Sleeping Dogs. I didn't even even think about that. And I did get Sleeping Dogs for fun. So maybe I'm making too big of a statement. Because I haven't even beat Sleeping Dogs yet. So I can always play Sleeping Dogs. But it's just, I don't want to. That's the problem. I don't want to. Like, no parts of me actually, like, wants to sit there and play Sleeping Dogs. Same with, uh... Same with Watch Dogs, to be honest. I kind of don't want to... Oh, man. I mean, I'll, I'm going to beat them whenever... Whenever the next time I get a chance to play them. And I'm just going to you know, sit down and play them. Which will probably be this weekend. I'm not even going to lie. But... Um, I haven't, like, legitimately sat down and played a game for fun in a while. So, um, basically, the plan for today is is to go home. I'm not going to eat a bowl of cereal. So, I had cereal yesterday and the day before. So, I'm not going to eat cereal today. But I'm going to, I'm going to go home, go upstairs, and immediately start my stream. And then uh, I'll probably end up playing 2K on my stream. And then uh, Andrew does not have work today, so he'll probably end up playing Overwatch. And I don't think he has work on Saturday either. Which I know when this video gets posted, it will be Saturday. But currently it's Friday. But, uh, so, basically... I'm on my last semester of high school. And as I keep thinking back about it, my high school was shit. But it was all because of my doing. My shyness has basically forced my high school to high school to be absolute shit. Like so many people I could have talked to, became friends with, and some of my friends I could have kept if all of a sudden my shine like like, I don't know. I think people just got tired of my shyness from middle school to high school. Because everyone that I cut... Everyone that cut me off from 8th grade to ninth grade year, I promise that God has a 1.6 million snap score or something in the millions of, of snap score. And it's like, ah, oh, so all you had to do was cut me off and then y'all become popular, eh? I. But I don't know. It's just... I don't really talk... I don't really talk to people like that last time I really did, like, actually, like, communicate to someone that's other than the SMTD boys was, like, actually, like, had a full conversation other than the SMTD boys would be, and my family, the SMTD boys and my family would be eighth grade year, maybe ninth. That's a little bit sad, I'm not gonna lie. Like, even when I talk to my teachers, I honestly just say, yes, ma'am. Like, there's no full conversation or anything. Same with, I mean, they're like pretty much everyone at our at my school. I don't really talk to because I kind of just like, yeah, yeah. I hear what you're saying. Tenth grade year and eleventh grade year, I always had my beats in. I think I, had, I think they had them in ninth grade year too. Yeah, ninth grade year I had them in, and then they made a rule.
rule about no headphones, and then I didn't care about that rule, and went ahead and did it 10th and 11th grade year. So I understood, like, I get why no one talked to me, but still, like, everyone cut me off. Like, everybody cut me off. It was ridiculous. But, you know, more only back, like, I could have went to some parties. I didn't do nothing. I sat in my room playing video games all freaking uh, high school. I mean, I mean, to be fair, I'm not complaining because that's what I like to do. I like to play video games. But I'm just thinking, it's like, when I go talk to my kids, whenever I have kids, and they be like, how was your high school? Or like, I have grandkids. How was you in high school? I'm genuinely going to look them dead in their face and say, absolute shit. Because there's nothing else I can say. I can't say, oh, it was good. It was good, this and that. Like, I ain't got no war stories from high school. I ain't done nothing. Like, I hate to say it. I ain't got no war, uh, warrior stories or nothing. I just, I, I literally... Literally have to say that my high school was shit. The school itself, me, every single bit about it, just shit. There's nothing else I can say. Like most of the people in my grades would be like talk about how they, how they, you know, first time they smoke weed or something. You know what I mean? Something like that. Some, some about that. But then there's me, and it's just nothing. A blank book. I need to I need to ball out in college because I can't have no stories. Cause that's that's gonna be sad. And most of the story times that I came up with, with uh, most of the story times that I said told are true stories, obviously, but they're from like elementary school. I don't think a single one of them's from I mean one of them, well actually I take that back. A couple of them are from high school, but they ain't even good stories to tell. They just bad stories. It was hard to make the story time video about them because they were just not good stories. But, you know, there's not much more I can say or do about that. I mean, it's honestly too late to do something now. I mean, I don't want to go to senior week, but everybody else is going to senior week. I hope my friends don't go to senior week because if they don't go to senior week, I ain't going. I don't want to go to senior week. I have no... See, this is the reason why my high school is shit because I just don't want to go no I don't want to go nowhere with those people like had it have been had it had it been one of the SMT boys that invited me to a party I'd probably maybe think about going even with them it's a stretch and they notice I normally don't like to leave my house period but like if they invited me then maybe I would see to maybe trying to go but like it, like if somebody was to walk up to me like, I got a certain person in my head. I'm not going to say their names. But if he was to walk up to me and invite me to a party, of course, I would take his invitation and say, yeah, I'll try. But I know damn well, as soon as I get to the house, I ain't fucking thinking about going to that party. I don't want nothing to do with them people. But it's more or less because I hate to say it, but what is the accident? Honestly, I hate to say it, but it's true at our school. And anyone that's from our school that's watching this will, will know what I'm talking about. The band and the Corlears are the two most hated people in the school. And they're also, at one point, was the group, was both of them was the group that I had most of the friends with. And it and it's weird because no one likes the Corlears because they're so stuck up. You know what I mean? They're just kind of like stuck up, snotty little bitches. I hate them. Everything about them pisses me the fuck off. Yeah, it's a stop sign. It's a stop. But, um, like, there's not much more else I can really do. Because I cut, I, honestly, honest to God, I cut off all my, um, Corlier and bad friends. It's just, I just didn't want to deal with that, because they, honestly, I hate Corlier's. Everyone at my school hates Corlier's. We hate the band kids, because the band kids are just weird. It's just like, I don't know, it's like, you're either not normal and hated, or you're normal and just normal. I don't know, that's just kind of how our school operates. 
And the Coraliers are just, they're just a different breed, man. They're just something else. They're just so damn weird, man. Stuck up little a-holes. But, you know, that is the reason why I can genuinely say that my high school was pretty damn bad. It was because I just didn't go nowhere, didn't do nothing. Like a lot of a lot of people would say they have done like certain stuff, you know, like milestones and all that. I ain't done shit. I ain't done not a thing. I have done basically nothing. It's just not anything for me to do. I mean, I'm a gamer, dude. This is what we do. We just kind of. I mean, the only memorable thing that I've done in high school is start a YouTube channel. In my opinion, that's the only truthfully memorable thing. Like that's probably the only thing from high school. And meeting the SMTD boys. Those are the only two things in high school that I'm going to remember. is the YouTube channel and meeting the SMTD boys. That's it. Like, I don't know. I cut off so many people. Like, my best friend. I mean, he's still my best friend. But I had to cut him off for high school because... I guess... I'm get, It's like his personality, I guess. It's just the people, not not him, not his personality. It's the people he hangs out with. I don't really vibe with them. They're kind of like, I guess the word for them would be delinquent. And I don't, I don't really mess with delinquents like that. Like, you know, potheads and all that, all that shit. Like, I'm not trying to get in trouble. I want to be, I want to be something with my life, you know. I don't want to have felonies and all this. And criminal charges that kind of stop me from doing what I want to do. It's just kind of, that's just kind of me, though. But, like, like, him himself, like, I ain't cut him off. But I cut, I was, I tried to be cool with the rest of them. Like, I tried to be cool with everyone he hung, hung out with. And it just didn't work out for me. So I just said, no, I'm just going to, like, chill over here and play video games. Which, my mom, she always gets mad at me because we are two, we are two different people. Like, my mom did everything in her power just to make her parents mad, like, which is basically, that's the only thing we have in common, but, like, so what she would do is that she would purposely make friends that her parents did not like, and she was always never in the house, was a piehead and all that, but, like, they, she always did the opposite of what they wanted to do. My mom doesn't want me to become a piehead, and I've never showed signs of becoming a piehead. Never have. Like, you know what I mean? You get what I'm saying? It's more or less like, she wants me to do stuff, but I have no passion to do stuff. And she can't, she can't get mad at me because it's saving me in the long run. So she's never, she's never gotten mad at me for my passion of video games. She's gotten mad at me because my passion forces me to be lazy. Because there's not much exercise in video games, and, and once you start playing video games, you really can't stop. You know? But she's never, I can genuinely say she's never once got mad at me for it. Like, most, like, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use Andrew as an example. Both me and SMTD Eclipse, at one point, we were like, esports is a cool thing, we should try out for esports. My mom didn't even have a problem with it. Not even a little bit. She said, oh, so you're finally looking at eSports. Hey, all right, cool. Andrew's mom had a big problem with it. She just didn't want it. I, I, don't, I just don't think she wanted him to play to play eSports. And he had to use my mom as a reference. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember if he actually did or not. But I told him he could, and my mom said he could. But he ended up getting it filled out next day. But, like... Honestly, honestly, I had thought about it. I had thought about it, and I was like, nah, I don't feel like joining a team is right for me and him because I hate to say it, but if, you, if we're not together, in a sense, it's not going to be the same because we both suck without each other. Like, I'll put it this way. Dylan... It's the only one out of us that does kind of, kind of good. He does pretty good by himself. But still, three of us are one whole person. 
all right? So, like, I'm probably the left crutch, you know? The one that's leaned on the least. Because, you know, most of the time, you, if you're right-handed, you'll lean on your right crutch. The one that you got on your right on your right arm, because that's the best side you use most more. Uh, use more. So you'll lean on you'll lean on that side more. Andrew's probably that right crutch, and I'm get I I want to say that Dylan is probably the legs, cause it cause if you have a if you have crutches, your legs, bro. So he's still he's he's still probably like the most important piece. You can't have you don't even get crutches if you don't got legs. But you get what I'm saying. I think it would be better to actually use a whole person because if I use a whole person, hold on, let me let me think about this. If I use a whole person, then Dylan is still the legs because he normally plays tank. And he, oh shit. But even if he doesn't play tank, uh, that's basically his role. He just tanks a lot of damage. Uh, then you got you got me. I specialize in one thing only, and that's doing damage. You know what I'm saying? And then you got Andrew, who specializes in healing. I mean, there's not much, much else you can say. I mean, in terms of in terms of Overwatch, you could say that the healers are the legs because they're the ones that keep everyone moving and alive. And then, and then the DPS is just the hands. And then the tank is the is the is the upper body. So I guess we'll use that. And we all we all converge into one brain basically. When when we're all playing together. So it wouldn't make any sense for us to split up. Just to join an esports team, you know what I mean? So if we were to if we were to be we would probably like if we became pro players, it would be we would make our own. It's just that it's just better that way. And then uh, well now I'm home so it's pretty much over for this video but the motivational thing you know i'm talking a lot about this about this and like essays and stuff like that i've written for classes and all that but the thing that you should be looking for is to like basically you should be looking to give back to the community it's just it's just better because the more you give back to the community the more the community will give back to you like, you should not only be looking for yourself to get out. You should be looking at ways to get other people out. Like, in middle school, in middle school, I was, like, you know, principal scholar type student. But I also was a free tutor. Like, I would tutor people in the classes. It was specifically for more and more of the sports players that were, like, failing and all that. And now I think I don't know if they've I don't know if they got to, to to B's, but I know I pulled them up to C's, which is that's not great. But I mean, from like the seven teams that they had in middle school, that's a big improvement. Even though I don't tutor them anymore, because I guess they just don't want to be tutored anymore. And if you see this video, you know who you are. Um, but like, I don't know. The more you give back to the community, the more I'll give back to you, and that's. That's good for everyone in the long run. So I suggest that even if it's like something small, like a little community project, I, I still suggest that you do it because it's just that's just better in the long run. That's why I'm doing these videos to give a little bit of motivation and kind of like help people in my community try to get out. Like somebody, somebody will see this and see motivation. But like, I don't know, that's just, that's just how I feel. I just feel like the community is the most important part of life. It's just, well, not 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 like that. Not not most important. Like God is obviously the most important, and then, and then you got your family, and then you got the community. Because if the community makes it out, the community basically is your family. I hate to say, it, I mean, not hate to say, it, but I like I like to say it like that, just because that's what it should be. But uh, with that being said, I'm at my house. My mama's here, so I'm not gonna bring y'all in like I did the last time. So have a blessed day.